Hey, I'm here with Kathy Hackle, Chief Metaverse Officer. You created that title, and I love it. And, um, and so, and there's been a whole kind of metaverse backlash with Meta changing their name. I don't want to get into that, but Tim didn't talk about the metaverse at all, which we knew he wouldn't, right? Because he didn't want to give credibility to Facebook yeah. or to Meta. What's your take on how this is going to affect people's view of the concept of the metaverse? Yeah, I mean, when we think about the year today, it's like the metaverse hype is over. That's what's, what's dead. People are like, the metaverse is dead. The metaverse as a concept isn't dead. The metaverse hype is dead. Um, you know, we, and I've always said this, like I said, you know, in the future, we might not even call it metaverse. I think we're evolving. Uh, I think the choice of word to spatial computing was a really interesting one. Having worked at Magic Leap and having used the word spatial computing for a very long time, I was actually happy to see that. So um, he, I think he's going to go in between talking about spatial computing for this device it towards augmented reality. I still think he's very bullish on that augmented reality future and the AR glasses. He started someday. the first term he yeah. threw out was augmented reality, yeah. but then they didn't really talk about it after that, which I thought yeah. was interesting. He just wanted to build the bridge. Build the bridge because I think the longer term vision is AR and AR glasses, right? Even when you hear the name vision, like vision OS, mm. vision reality, like all those sorts of things, like the, there's that element of vision ahead for ahead yeah. for them. A lot of so. propositional density in that yeah, term yeah. vision. And, and you know what, it actually, like if we don't use the term metaverse, it's fine, like I'll change my title. As long as the consumer is understanding that this is a next interface, that this is a next way to engage with technology, that's what matters at the end of the day. I dub you chief reality officer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll be chief whatever. <laughs> So what did you think of EyeSight? Now, mm -hmm. for those of you that might not have watched the keynote, one of the big rumors that mm -hmm. a lot of us, I'll speak for myself, yeah. I dismissed as crazy bullshit, was that there was gonna be a display, an outward yeah. facing display on the front of the headset that shows your eyes so people could have, you would have a sense of presence to the people in the room. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's the yeah. dumbest idea I've ever heard. And then they did it and they named it EyeSight, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. <laughs> Um, what do you think of that? They pulled it off. They fucking pulled they it off. They pulled it off. Like that. I was literally having a conversation uh, with Jeremy Dalton about it. I was like, how are they doing this? Like, I, I was just, I was blown by it, blown away by it. And I think it resolves a lot of the issues, right? When people are like, oh, it, you know, separates me from reality and like everything. It's like, no, it's like you can still see someone's eyes. They can see you. Um, I don't know. Fantastic. I mean, the amount of technology that has gone into this device is mind blowing. It is mind blowing. And just, you know, I I'm literally trying to process this because this is truly. You to need me, an M3 chip. An M3 and an R1, <laughs> to right? To process it. <laughs> to process it. <laughs> and to me, it's like the amount of technology that went into this, the groundbreaking technology that's in this device, this is not glasses. Like people are like, oh, this is a VR device. No, this is a literally a supercomputer on your face. This is. This is like a totally new, totally new device that we've never seen. Yeah. So yeah, hats off to, to Apple on, you know, hats, hats off, off to Apple for sure. <laughs> so. So will you get one? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know. What's about the, what about the price? Like everybody was, oh, $3,000 is too much. It came in at 3500 What do you think it, of the way they positioned the price and how it's going to play it's out? It's priced for people in the enterprise that really want to go into this. It's priced for a consumer that is ready to buy this. Uh, you know, to me, it's a luxury product. Right, Apple is a luxury product regardless. Normally the higher net worth individuals buy, you know, are buying Apple. So um, it's definitely something I will buy. I even when I was watching the keynote, I thought about my parents, like what would drive them to buy a device like this or have me buy a device for them like this? And it was the spatial video and photos. Yeah. That moment was the moment where I was like, and forget, I mean, it was even before Disney, but that was the moment I said, why would a consumer buy this? It's because it is about storing future memories, reliving them, even for fashion, which I do a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, you know, you literally can be front row. I was really so. surprised. I was really surprised that this, you know, that you have to use the headset to do the 3D. I thought for sure mm -hmm. we'd be doing that with the the the, the lidar yeah. sensors and the and on the iPhone. But my guess is that next year the iPhone will have some sort of spatial lenses on it to be able to do 3D capture. Yeah, right? it has to happen. It has to happen. I mean, it has to happen. I mean. I don't know. It's just an integration of 3D in so many different ways. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah. what surprised you the most of the announcement? What surprised me the most? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know, to be honest. I mean, that the, the, you're able to see someone's eyes. I don't know. I'm still processing. Am yeah. I surprised? I, I just didn't know what to expect. I think we all knew I had ideas and heard the rumors. I don't know. I, I'm just truly excited 
this is probably it. Not what surprises me. I think what people are missing mm. is that this is not an AR VR play solely. This is a play with AI and machine learning. Mm. Like they might not have been like, it might not be the Google Kino where every word was AI. They use machine learning, they use different things. But you know, at AWE, or Ori said this, XR is the interface for AI. And as we progress with a relationship with AI, we move away from texting and prompting to more spatial context. And I think that this device is that beginning interface yeah. for us to engage with AI. And you know, combine that with new, with C the new Siri that's coming. And is it coming? Like, because that's the one thing yeah. that I was like when they said, and your way to interact it is with hand gestures. And I, I did love, yeah. I did love the fact that I don't have to do this. Like, yeah. I can actually manipulate it with my hands wherever mm -hmm. they are comfortable. But then they said with your voice, and then they showed Siri, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, right? <laughs> Like, what's happening with Siri, and why are they why are they seemingly so far behind? I don't know if they're far behind. Do you think they're going to gonna be catch honest? up? This is, I was having this conversation. I said because someone's like, "Are they playing catch up in AI?" I said, "No, they're far behind. We just don't know where they are, and they don't feel the pressure as a Google or yeah, Microsoft to be releasing things back to back to compete with OpenAI or whatever." Um, yeah, like I, there's so much that they're they have behind the scenes. They don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, but I do believe you know, it's even even their job postings. Right, it's generative AI and conversational AI. Like they understand yeah. that this is not just about texting and prompting. It's about conversational. It's going to be about spatial context. And the fact so. that they're putting, you know, neural yeah. network chips in every yes. phone, right? I mean, they've built this huge neural network. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, exciting time. So AI was sprinkled throughout the keynote. It just wasn't in our faces. Yeah. Right. And I thought that was really interesting. So this is much as much an investment in the XR industry as it is in AI. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Kathy Hackle, thanks for Thank being you. here.